Hello and welcome to SketchUp Assist. Today we're going to be talking about moving objects, so let's dive right in. Uh, let's start off with a simple geometry. Let's just create a small square here and let's go ahead and make it a group. Okay. Uh, now let's move this object around a little bit and, and see some of the things that happen. Now as you start to drag the object around, notice the lower right hand um, corner of the screen is the distance measure. And that text field there is telling you how far you've moved the object. Now you can attempt to move the object a precise amount. So say I want to move it over three inches. It's quite challenging to get it right there. It'll tend to hop around a quarter inch or so on either side. So a far easier way to do that is to start moving the object. And you can, over, you can sort of over drag it, so to speak. And then come in and just without clicking anything, just type into the keyboard. And you'll notice that as you type in that number, so I just typed five and that number shows up in the distance there, hit enter. Maybe that's not far enough. Let me come in and try 10. And you can, you can refine that distance. You can do uh, fractions if you want. So three and a quarter. Uh, in case we didn't see it, let's try 27 and a quarter. And so you can see it's moving a little bit there. And you can refine that number until you get it to where you want. And then come in and, and simply clicking in the screen will take you out of that, uh, out of that move mode. Okay, and so you'll notice that the measurement screen goes black once it once that measurement locks in. Okay, so again, simply enter move mode, come in, uh, drag that object around, um, and then type in the distance that you want to go. Okay, so I just moved it very far off screen. So let's move it back on screen now. Okay, perfect. Okay, and again, once you're done clicking in to the screen, We'll lock that, and if I try to type a number now, it, it doesn't go there. Okay, so that's good if you're moving a single object. Um, you can refine it, but now let's see, what if you wanna make copies and, and move them into specific locations? So let's come in and let's start dragging uh, the object, and in the last video, we talked about a, a trick for creating copies, um, and that trick is once you start moving an object, if you just hit the Option key, um, that will create a copy for you. Okay, um, and then you can come in and then you can move again and hit the option key again and, and make another copy. Now, let's say you want to place these objects um, a specific distance apart. Let's say you want to place them uh, say 12 inches apart. So one of the things you could do is, of course, come in and put markers here, move them. Maybe put another marker here. I want to make these all 12 inches apart. Put my mark. Come in, lock that one in. Uh, that certainly is a way to do it, um, but by no means is it the best way. Um, and in fact, if you're doing this a lot, it's really not going to be a manageable way to do it. So there is a far better way. And again, it's based on a concept that very similar to what we're just looking at uh, in terms of moving, uh, moving objects around. What you can do, let's come back and start with our create a new group. Okay. Go into move mode and slide this object over and let's type 14. Oops, I forgot to copy it. So come in, move it, hit the option key, make a copy. There's a copy. Let's move it over 14. We've got to move it further than that. The object's big. Let's move it six feet. Okay, so I've got six feet. Again, if you want to refine that, you can still type that. Okay. Um, and now, after we have that position, I want to make a couple of these copies. With, again, without clicking anything, you don't want to click into the screen because that will take you out of the move mode. Now just come in and, and shift eight. We'll get you the ast asterisk that you can see in the lower right corner now in the distance field and type two. So times two, so you're creating two copies or you're, you're replicating it twice. Uh, or you can replicate it four times. Right. Or you can replicate it 20 times, right? So whatever you want to do. And if you decide, you know what, I don't really want 20, let's go back to three, then you can simply do that. So you can continue to edit that uh, replication until you have the number you want. And then again, clicking in, you'll notice that the distance screen uh, no, no longer has anything. And if you try to type, you can no longer uh, 
type anything into that field. So that action is closed and you've now copied those objects. Now you can also come in and say you want to create a grid. You can grab these objects and slide them, hit the option key again to make copies. And let's say we want to move them over five feet, oh, move them over a little more than that. And we can make copies this way as well by performing the same option, same actions that we did. Okay, so so this is a, a really convenient way to create lots of copies in a very standardized uh, layout. You can also uh, do something like this. So it's instead of uh, replicating, uh, you can replicate in another way using uh, what looks like division. So let's take a look at it. So let's grab our object. Let's, let's start sliding it over and we'll hit the option key and make a copy. And let's pull it over here a little bit. Okay. Now, instead of hitting uh, asterisk and then entering the number, uh, do the slash uh, two. Okay, and so notice now what this does. So instead of making replicas, in this case, effectively to the right, like we were doing earlier, that's, it just depends on what you're doing. This is now filling in the space in between the two objects. So the, the original object that you had and the object that you copied and pulled over. Or you can do more of these. You can continue to do them. They will at some point start to overlap in this case. And again, if we go too far, I can always come back and say, yeah, that's too many. How about just five or maybe even just, just do three? Okay. And now these are evenly spaced. And so SketchUp takes the distance between uh, this geometry, the original geometry and the new geometry, divides it, and then uh, places these objects in their even, uh, in a way that you have even spacing between them. Okay. So this is another way to do it. If you have two endpoints you want to meet and then you have some fixed number of objects you want to put in between them you can use this uh, uh, forward slash um, followed by the number of, of replicas that you want okay so those are two quick tips quick tricks for uh, moving objects around in sketchup and creating replicas and moving those replicas into specific sort of um, even geometries or even even positions uh, so that's it for today. Thanks.